Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make great tasting french fries at home. For this recipe, I'm using russet potatoes, but you can use any potato that you have on hand. A potato peeler and a french fry cutter. This is an industrial french fry cutter. This here is something that you're going to find in the typical store and in your typical home. Much smaller, but does a really great job as well. But today I'm going to be using this large one. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, I don't have this machine and I don't have this machine. So what am I going to do? Well, you can use a cutting board and a regular kitchen knife and get the same beautiful fries. For a first step, you're going to grab your potato peeler and you're going to start peeling all of your potatoes. And if you don't want to peel them, what you're going to want to do is grab a little brush, a scrub brush, and you want to scrub the skin so that it's nice and clean. Okay, that's our first step. I'm going to clean up and I'll come back in one second. As I mentioned, if you don't have a fancy french fry cutter, you can still do this process just using a cutting board and a regular kitchen knife. You're going to take your potato and you're just going to cut it up so that it looks like french fries. Today I'm going to be using a commercial french fry cutter and if you're curious about this model I do have an unboxing on my channel. I'll put a video link to this in the description box. I'm going to grab my handle, pull this back, put my potato in there. I'm going to lock down the legs onto my table and then I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to push forward. And then pull back and our next one and you can see how nicely this cuts perfect so we'll just gather these up you can see how many fries I just made in a few seconds this machine does need a little bit of muscle to get it going but it does a really really nice job. So I'm going to clean up and I'm going to show you the next step which is very important. Our next step is an important step. You want to use cold tap water. So get a bowl, fill it with water. I'm going to grab my fries and just get them in there. And right away you can see that the water has gone cloudy and that is the starch that is in the potato and when you're frying fries starch is a bad thing because it allows the potatoes to stick together and you don't want that in your fryer so hopefully the camera can pick up that the water is cloudy if I go like if I push them down you can you can see a little bit better so at this point I'm actually gonna rinse these fries in the sink I'm going to dump this water out, rinse it again with cold water, and I'm going to do this about four times. I'll do that, and then I'll come back and I'll show you. So here I am back again. I rinse these four times using just cold tap water. This is actually very cold on my hands, but I did want to show you how nice the water is now. It's very, very clear. All of that starch has been removed from the fries. And at this point, we are ready for our next step. We're going to fire up our fryer and we're going to start frying some fries. So I've cleaned up. We're ready to go. I have my fryer set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to take my thermometer out. And then I'll show you the next step. So we've got the French fries here. And what I like to do is drain them on a towel here. Grab your little towel and just pat them as dry as you can. This is just to get that excess water off. The more water that is on the actual fry, the more bubbling and splattering you're going to get when it hits the, the hot oil. You don't have to do a perfect job. They don't have to be really dry, but you just want to get that water off. I'm going to get them into my basket here. Do a few more. So you just want to pat them dry. And what you can do for an experiment to see the difference 
you can take, you know, drain off all of your water and then just take a few and put them in there and you're going to see the difference. You're going to see a lot more splattering than if you do it this way. So that's good. Get them into your fryer. And then we're ready to go. And then I'm just going to slowly drop them down. I like to give them a little bit of a shake, bring them down, pull them up. You want to watch very carefully that the oil does not go over. There's a lot of moisture in potatoes. So this is a very safe way of doing it. Drop the basket in. And as soon as you see that the oil is starting to bubble less, then you know you can leave your basket in there. And right there you can see that the bubbling has lowered. And that's perfect, just like that. So I'm going to let these go about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back. And you're going to see our beautiful, perfect french fries. So our fries are looking really good. Maybe another three or four minutes and they're going to be perfect. I've got a bowl here and I have some paper towel. And I just cut off little pieces as I need it from a large roll like this. And that's just going to help dry our fries. Remove the oil from those fries. So I'll let this go and I'll be back in a little bit. So this is about three minutes later and these for me are perfect. They're really really golden brown and they look really nice. So I'm just going to pull those out and just let them drain there just for a second. And I like to just tilt my basket and just give it a little shake, shake, rattle and roll. That's good. And then right onto your paper line plate. And look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to unplug my fryer. Always unplug your fryer when you're finished. I'll bring these over. I'm going to lower my camera and we'll zoom in. Okay, I have zoomed in and lowered the camera. I'm going to grab a little bit of salt and just get that right on there. And that is a sea salt, Mediterranean sea salt. I also like putting a little bit of malt vinegar on there. It's my favorite vinegar. I love malt vinegar. So there we have it, our beautiful homemade french fries. And I know you might be wondering, can I do this without a deep fryer? Yes you can, you can do it in a regular pot, but you really do need a deep fryer thermometer, which is about $6, $7, you might even be able to get them for about $5, but you really, really need one. The other question you may be asking, what kind of oil was I using today? I was using canola oil. I'm going to have to try one. Oh, really, really good. Mmm. I love french fries. If you've never made french fries before but you always wanted to, I hope my video today showed you how easy it is to make these at home. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I do appreciate that. That's it, and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's good.